there's a couple of things that I wanted to point out here while we're out in the field. First of all, as you may have noticed, I stood a certain distance from each one of those trees as I collected that data. I didn't want to hide uh, the GPS receiver with my body in any way. Like if I huddled around it like this, or if you have a bunch of students that are all huddled around the receiver, take note of where your GPS receiver has its antenna. And this particular model is right up in here. It's right at the top. So I don't want to hide that in any way. In fact, a good uh, educational teaching moment is if you hide that, you'll see the number of, of uh, uh, satellites that the GPS is sensing drops off noticeably. So I want to crowd around the GPS. Ideally, I really want to hold it up pretty high. Another thing is that if, as I go out underneath those trees, my, my position is going to be compromised. What do I mean by that? Well, GPS signals can't travel through solid objects, as you may know. So as I go into those trees, what I'm, what I'm saying is that the, uh, the positional accuracy is going to be reduced. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Know what your positional accuracy is at every step of the way and adjust accordingly. And that's what, one of the things I like about using GPS and GIS with students is that uh, you really have to use this tool. This tool is important, but this tool is more important. You need to think about all of these things that we're talking about. Safety, accuracy of your units, accuracy of your data. So these are all important considerations uh, when you're collecting data with your GPS receiver.